Hey, once again, welcome, welcome to Cooking the Rounds channel. And what do I have for you today? Pork chops. Not ordinary pork chops, not the way I make them. It is called sticky garlic pork chops. And it is out of this world, and people in your family are just going to love this recipe. Don't believe me? Let me show you. Look, this is cooked to perfection. The sauce is absolutely great, and you can cut it just like butter. Now, just take a look inside. Nice and moist inside. Let me show you how to put this together. Now, first we have to do the marinade, so let's add one third cup of brown sugar, about six cloves of crushed or minced garlic, and if you are on the brave side, please add more. And to give it a bit of a tang, one quarter cup of rice vinegar. Now here comes the flavor. Two tablespoons of fish sauce or oyster sauce. About one tablespoon of ketchup, or you could add a bit more. About one tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce and a dash or two of ground black pepper and here it comes the good stuff two teaspoons or more of your favorite hot sauce and here i'm using a peaty peaty hot sauce now let's blend this in really really good because i want the garlic to blend in and let out its oils and now when it's basically done like this, I want you to take your pork chops. I want you to put them inside like this, roll them around, roll them around. Uh, this is a small dish, but if you're making more, of course, you have a bigger dish. And now I want you to cover it, and I want you to put it in the refrigerator for at least minimum one hour. Me here, I'm leaving it for about two hours. That's up to you. Grab yourself your favorite fry pan and put in about, you know, a little bit of oil. I'm putting a little bit extra here because I don't want it to stick. Now wait for the temperature to come up. And I have it on medium high. And now let's take these delicious uh, pork chops. Now I want you to try to remove as much of the sauce as you can and leave it in the bowl. And now let's just put it in there. And move it a little bit around so it doesn't stick and we grab another one and we put it on the other side of course if you had more you'd have to squeeze them together and we're going to let this go until it's cooked on one side okay it's been about 10 11 minutes right now and i reduced my heat down to medium because i don't want to burn it and you know what you can do just peek underneath and see if it's good now here you can see they're already done so i'm already flipping them you want them a little bit cooked well on the outside a little bit charred but don't overdo it and here I'm checking it again and moving it around you know just to make sure it's cooked evenly at this point okay we are basically done but I want to bring the camera in just a little bit just to kind of tease you guys and look how tender this is it's absolutely perfect and tender and it's going to really, really, once again, be great. Now let's remove the pork chops to another bowl. And keeping the heat on medium, I want you to take your leftover marinade. And I want you to put it inside the pan like this. And we are going to create a sauce. And as the temperature goes up, the sugar is going to caramelize. Now, just before it becomes too thick, I want you to return the pork chops back to the pan, and I want you to take whatever's left that came out of the pork chops in your bowl and pour that in. Now, let's move it around and get the sauce everywhere and get the pork chops coated. And, you know, if you're really not too sure that it's to your liking right now, just take a knife and fork, cut a little bit here in the thicker piece, and just take a little peek and see if you are happy. If not, add a little bit of water and continue cooking a little bit longer. So it is basically ready. Now I know that your family and your friends are going to love you for this. Please serve this while this is hot. 
So once again, we come to the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will try it. And all I can say now, once again, is goodbye from Tony and Cooking Around, and see you on my next video. Goodbye now.